Hey, hey, hi, and welcome. Tell me you have an awesome guitar collection without telling me you have an awesome guitar collection. Uh, somebody had commented on it, uh, last night, so I'll just show you what I got for guitars. These are just the electrics. Uh, excuse the mess in the room. There's my two acoustics there. And there's six violins in here and a mandolin. Two ukuleles. The other one's on the other side over there. And uh, one bass. Yeah, there we go. So let's start it off here. So the very first guitar here, not the first guitar I bought, but I bought this one in 2015. This is a Jackson JS32 Rhodes Flying V uh, in uh, 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 gloss black and dust. Yeah, I got, I got a clean maple neck, maple fingerboard. Uh, Jackson high output, the base model pickups are like a medium output pickup. Uh, low, low quality Floyd Rose. But this guitar is a lot of fun. 24 fret, uh, 14, 16 degree uh compound radius uh flatter here rounder up there and the jackson speed neck which is pretty fun and fast and jumbo frets uh let's go to the uh, what, i'll go to the eight string just because this thing's the beast this is a ltd ec258 i bought it last year my first eight string jabota fingerboard mahogany body neck the darkest and this thing is a black hole it's the darkest sounding heaviest sounding guitar i've ever owned uh the strings are 10 to um, 74s on this 22 fret push pull pot uh ltd esp 308s are the pickups uh, and yeah very cool eight string uh, which one should I go to? I'll go to the SG3, my my trusty old SG3. They don't make these anymore. I don't know how many they made. I think they made about a thousand a year for about two or three years. And this is a Gibson SG3 with uh, circa 2006. And you can see the review of this on the channel as well if you just hunt it out. It's got three classic 57s. Uh, however, the, the bridge one is a classic 57 plus wound slightly hotter you would call these like medium output pickups uh i did kind of modify it for a toggle switch and a push pull pot to split the uh turn on and off the uh, middle pickup best playing guitar i've ever owned uh so far uh, 22 fret rosewood fingerboard mahogany body neck set neck uh trapezoid you know all that all that good stuff uh beautiful beautiful guitar um let's go to my uh, yeah, I guess I'll go to the Jackson. This one I bought last, I guess technically you say the end of 2022. Uh, this is a Jackson Rhodes uh, V. This is the RR5T, uh, T4 Tunematic Bridge, not Tremolo, but they do make a Tremolo version of this. There's four versions of this exact model. Uh, well, I guess would it be exact, but the four versions of it. Uh, it's 22 fret, ebony fingerboard, awesome fingerboard. Uh, uh, maple neck, 22 fret, uh, alder body. This is the punchiest guitar I've ever owned. Um, tone volume, uh, string through construction, tunematic bridge, and Duncan SH6 distortion pickups. This guitar is pedal to the metal all the time. It is a complete, utter savage. It is the angriest uh, guitar I've ever owned. It, um, uh, the number two at most angriest was my Hammer Diablo years ago, but this thing is really, really cool. Uh, the tuners, I'm going to do a, a follow up video on this guitar. Uh, it is a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a neck through body construction. And like I say, Alder body, so nice, bright, and punchy sounding guitar. The punchiest sounding guitar I've ever owned. Uh, it's really, really cool. And uh, I will be doing a follow up review on this guitar and this guitar. Hopefully fairly soon, because uh, I've now had this thing a little over six months, and I've had this thing, uh, I think in June it'll be a year for that one, and this one I think I got in August or September. Uh, yeah, now, moving over to, th th again, this I had since 2006, I bought that new, 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 secondhand, uh, new, uh, the base just arrived, that's my uh, Geo, um, uh, Geo 205, uh, 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 GSR, yeah, GSR. <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of it. Fun little bass. I probably should have went with the six string, uh, but uh, five string will do for now. Fun little bass. Um, now uh, these two guitars. I I'll go with the sixty-one reissue. This is a circa two thousand seven uh, sixty-one reissue, and uh, same thing. Two classic fifty-sevens in it. 
uh, 22 fret uh, set neck construction and uh, rosewood fingerboard, trapezoids, all that good stuff. And this has been my favorite dream guitar for since 1994 when they started to issue them. They no longer make the 61 reissue uh, in this configuration. The next one that is an actual large head, you see like that's the SG standard kind of setup. Uh, which is almost every SG now, uh, where it has the smaller headstock like a Les Paul. Uh, the 61 reissue, you can, might not be able to tell it on the camera, but it's a, it's, it's a wider headstock. And slim taper neck, which is different. This is more like a Les Paul neck. Uh, that's the slim taper neck. Uh, and a slightly thinner body. So there is a difference between the SGs. And I'm going to do it for time here. So anyway, moving on, uh, yeah, uh, you can see an awesome review of that guitar. The last guitar, which was the latest to arrive, and there's probably going to be another guitar arriving fairly soon, and this is my Mark Holcomb PRS uh, Signature Model 7 Strings. I believe this one was probably, it, well, it was in stock for about two months before I bought it, so would say 2023, maybe, it was probably made in 2022. Um, yeah, beautiful guitar. My favorite to play right now because it's just it's just insane so anyway yeah there's my guitar collection you will be seeing another tabletop of this. you can recent the this is the most recent tabletop i've done is with this but i will be doing a, a follow-up fairly soon on this one because this guitar is quite uh quite the guitar um yeah i'll leave it at that have yourselves a great day eh?